Hi, I'm Daniel, and this is a short introduction to a machine learning project titled Direct Question Answering from Lecture Notes. This project uses machine learning to aid university students in the exam revision. First, let me introduce to you a working question answering or QA application called Dr. QA. Dr. QA does QA on Wikipedia, and this is how training is done in it. It takes in the Wikipedia articles, questions, and their corresponding answers to learn. And to test the now trained model, we take the test questions, put it into Dr. QA, it will output predicted answers. To calculate the score, we compare predicted answers and the correct answers using a formula. But hang on, what is the correct answer? So we use two different metrics to define it. First, we have exact match, where both answers have to be the same. If they are, we get a score of 1. If not, we get 0. Next, the F1 score. To calculate this score, we use a special formula. Put in the predicted answers and the correct answers, and we get a score. The minimum score is 0, and the maximum is 1. The better the match, the higher the score. These are the results of the Dr. QA model that was tested using a well-known QA dataset called Squad. As you can see, it's already quite good. Next, we transfer the learning done to our own lecture notes. We managed to get over 900 data points for our, lecture, for, for our lecture notes, and then we perform training and testing on it. These are the results we got. In the first row, we only train the model on Squad, in the second, only on the lecture notes, and third, on both the data sets, which yield the best, best results. These results were indeed pretty good. We managed to do a decent transfer learning from Squad to our lecture notes. But can it be better? So we tried to tune and modify the model. First, tuning the document retriever, which determines which paragraph from the entire database of lecture notes to find the answer from. We decided to filter lecture notes by the, the departments they are from before making any predictions, and we got a higher score. Next, the document reader, which uses a machine learning recurrent neural network algorithm to learn and then predict the answers. This algorithm has certain hyperparameters which could be tuned, and we need, to, we need to determine the best settings. So we decided we decide to try every possible combination of hyperparameters, pick the best one, and yes, it, is, it, it improved our scores. Overall, we succeeded in improving our results by a small margin, and we managed to get a final score as such. For more information about this project, please visit our team's GitHub page at this link. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.